India's space research organization, the ISRO, has launched its latest satellite, the GSAT 7A, from Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh. This is a 2,250 kilogram uh, satellite which is expected to boost the Defence Forces communications capabilities. There has been a successful lift of the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark II from Sriharikota. It is on its way into space to launch the GSAT 7A satellite, a very special satellite which is dedicated for the Indian Air Force. This is the second pure military communication satellite made by ISRO for the armed forces. The first was a satellite for Navy. This is a satellite dedicated for the Indian Air Force. Uh, this particular mission is going to last about 19 minutes. So we will see close to about 4.30 uh, whether the mission is successful or not. But the liftoff at 10 minutes past 4 from Sriharikota of this vehicle, which is the 13th flight of the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark II uh, was successful and it is on its way into space carrying India's 2,250 kilogram communication satellite, a very special military communication satellite dedicated for the Indian Air Force. This launch puts India into a, a special class of countries in South Asia which have more than one uh, military communication satellites and is going to aid the Indian Air Force in connecting all its assets, whether, the, whether it's fighter planes, AVAC planes, which is advanced airborne control systems, drones, and also the ground-based assets. So this particular satellite, uh, which I call the Indian Angry Bird, is going to protect India's borders very closely and be a force multiplier for the Indian Air Force. Uh, this particular satellite has been, the, uh, the Indian Air Force has been wanting this for a long time. It has been uh, waiting in the wings for quite a while uh, because certain interferences were there by uh, some countries. But by and large, now the satellite is on its way into its slot using the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark II.